25. Julia is investigating how much exercise people do in a week. She uses two questions. Question one, what's your age? Question two, how much exercise do you do? Write one thing wrong with each question. So one thing's got to be wrong with question one, one thing's got to be wrong with question two. We're looking at question one. Um, under 15, 15 to 25, 25 uh, to 40 or over 40. Uh, what is your age? Well, one thing is we've got overlaps. So we've got overlaps uh, in, in categories, in ages, e.g. age 25. Question two, how much exercise do you do? A bit, some, a lot. Well, basically, there's quite a, there's quite a bit wrong uh, with that one there. Um, the first thing is uh, it doesn't give you a time frame. It doesn't say a week, a month, a year, etc. The next is there's no option for no exercise. What if you didn't do any exercise? You would have uh, nothing to do. And also it's very vague, isn't it? The options are extremely vague. They're not precise. And so therefore it is a problem with that question. Okay, so next part. Uh, Julia wants to know how, mu how much time people um, how much time people spend exercising, design a suitable question. So she wants to know how much time, so how much time, how much time do you spend exercising? Do you spend exercising? Now you must give a time frame, okay, exercising. So let's say for example, each week, that will get you your one mark, your time frame mark. And then your options. So you have to give an option for no time. And then you give at least the three other ones. So you can say less than one hour. You can say between one and three hours. And you could say uh, between three and five hours, okay? Or you could say more than five hours. So if you give suitable non-overlapping boxes, one to three means less than three, by the way, and three to five means less than five, between three and five, okay? So there you go, that's how you do that question.